I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I guess I might as well unpack. Alex, do I want to know? Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Anita and Eduardo, they were one of the good ones. Wow, Gabe's been looking for me for a while. So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview, and Mac thought they were sleeping together? This is fucking stupid. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? At least I held it together in front of Ryan and Steph. Whoa, looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. Holy shit, it looks like Gabe actually read this. Gabe brushing up on comics and art? Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Wait, what? Is that a real, live, dead deer? Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Huh. I've really changed the art style since I read these. We didn't even get to finish the song. Is that... A sword? Gabe always wanted a bike like this. Oh God. Shoo Shoo's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Ethan's really talented.
What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so personal. Crazy how much we've changed. No way. Guess Gabe didn't cut out our parents. How mature. Look at them. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. It's really nice that Gabe and I both held on to this photo. My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. I'm going to choose to believe this isn't about me. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here. Ugh. I'll finish this later. No fucking way. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. 
So, how are you feeling right now? You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. I know I kicked the drywall crack when I see one. Okay. How...
Gabe looks like he fits right in. Oh man, Gabe used to crush me. Jerk. Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, it looks pretty nasty right about here. Uh. <laughs> so, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? Put some ice on it. I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go... Well, Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Today's been a roller coaster so far. I can imagine. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. But does he think I'm cooler than Gabe? I'd say you have a shot. Gabe plays dirty, though. Like, he secretly teaches Ethan to swear. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. <laughs> Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the Spring Festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh... Maybe not as long as that, but yeah, I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. My dad was in the service. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chan, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. 
I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. Hey, Jed. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh huh. And? One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Typhon's not a bad company. Once you get... Oh, is that really Ryan? Used to how they operate. Right. Yeah, that's what people keep telling me. Takes a minute to learn the ropes, though. Huh? Yeah. yeah, I guess. The way they do things... My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. It's just so... I don't know. <laughs> Idiosyncratic. Starting over from scratch like this? Phone on. Fucking on. terrifying is what it is. You're telling me. When I was on duty. Yeah, they're Starting over from scratch like this? It's a security concern. Fucking terrifying is what it is. I mean, sure. Only 45 bucks for the chance to get mauled by a bear. But it... That looks radioactive. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong, you have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. So, I'll pick a song, 
You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. Does the song have a long title, like four words or more? Yes. Interesting. Are there people on the cover? No. So, does the song title have a curse word in it? (laughs) A curse word? Would that offend you? Answer the question. (laughs) No curse words in the title, ma'am. You've got two questions left. Is the band name on the cover? Yep. Last question. Yeah, all right, I know. Is there an animal on the cover art? Uh, no, no animals. Ugh, too bad. Some of these are really cute. I know, right? That's your five. Ready to guess? Yeah. Let me look through one last time. Here's what I know. No curse words in the song title. The song title is at least four words long. No animals on the cover. No people on the cover. The band name is on the cover. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. Here's what I know. No curse words in the song title. The song title is at least four words long. No animals on the cover. No people on... (laughs) Fuck. 
<laughs> nice one. Guess I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, thanks for playing. I'm really glad we did. Me too. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? I've heard the term before. Live action role play. It's like a tabletop role playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. So, you and Ryan hang out a lot? All the time. Except when he ditches me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he I saved- I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. I should get back to work. Okay. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. I think I see a lot more of the jukebox game in my future. That's Charlotte's dispensary. She seems cool. Sure, I, I know. I'm just venting. Really, I, I like... Ducky, Jed thinks you took your whiskey up to Gabe's yesterday. Do you know where you might have left it? I remember absolutely nothing of the night. <laughs> really? Maybe check your phone. Did you take any pictures, call anyone? <clears throat> have a look. For goodness sake. How do I access the photos on this thing? Sorry, nothing useful. Well, thanks for letting me know. My dad was in the service. Oh, hey, someone made a course about my life. This one's from yesterday. Hold up. It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch with the bottle. Guess these were for mining. Damn. I wonder if the bullet's still in there. Rest in peace, mister. He's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Yeesh. Glad I'm not a 19th century miner.
Haven seems pretty proud of its mining history. Jed asked me to clear that off. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. That is bullshit. And you know it. I was defending Gabe from you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> so you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! about why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Okay, um, not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. Oh God, were you there too? Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Oh, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait, wait, are you, are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Alex Chen? Uh. Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm going to have to take you in for questioning. Are you saying I'm under arrest? 